welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is grace and this is scaling customer success where we share tips that can help you scale your career as a customer success enthusiast and also grow your business as a business owner we've shared some amazing videos in the past so please feel free to go through them at your convenience today's video we're going to be discussing a topic that is dear to so many of us and that is handling rejection you know, when you hear the word rejection, the first thing that comes to your mind is when an outcome does not work out as you've expected. And whether we like it or not, it is part of life. Be it in job application, in relationship, or even life itself, rejection is something that you cannot always run away from. And that is the reason why I've decided to talk about it today. This video, we are going to focus on rejection that relates to job application. And I'll be sharing with you four tips that I've used in the past that have helped me scale through those moments and help me go back on my feet. And I hope that if you're going through this similar situation or you're currently going through rejection phase, the tips I will share in this video will help you to scale through this moment and bring you back up your feet. Don't forget to like, subscribe, most importantly, share and also drop your comments in the comment section. When you're talking about handling rejection, the first thing to do is acknowledge your feelings. It is normal to feel down when you get the rejection email. You know, the time that you've put in so much effort into your resume, your cover letter, or you've even started the application. Maybe you've even got into the like um, third or final stage of the application and then you get the email saying, oh, we're so sorry, we've decided to move on with other candidates. At that point in time, just take a pause Acknowledge your feeling. It is okay for you to feel down. You know, you've put in so many efforts, so much effort, and it's not working out the way you've expected. So just take a walk. What I do personally is for me to take a walk at that particular point in time, or even listen to music. I just try to look for activities that can distract me at that moment so that I can gain my momentum back later on. So take a pause. It's okay. Acknowledge your feelings. And also, when you acknowledge your feeling, don't stay down. The reason why I said this is when you feel down for a moment, it's okay, like I mentioned, but don't let that feeling discourage you from taking other steps. Don't let the feeling discourage you, discourage you from applying to other positions in the future or later on. Don't keep um, the rejection ringing in your head every time you want to apply. You know, for me personally, it got to a point where Every time I want to apply for a job back then, the first thing that comes to my head is, will I even scale through this process? Like, this is looking like the same um, process as the last one. I got rejected almost at the final stage and all that. So I discovered that this rejection feeling kept stopping me from um, pushing forward. And I don't want you to do the same. Just make sure that when you get the email that you're not expecting or when things does not work out as you've expected you keep moving forward it's normal for you to take a break at that point in time but don't stay down the second point is learn from experience you can like take a stock of what you've done in the past okay is there something i could have added in my resume that could have made me stand out or was there something i could have added in my cover letter that could have made a difference or maybe I forgot to say something during that interview. Take a stock of your previous um, experience. What could you have done better? Or what um, could you have improved on? When you do that, you try to improve on the gap. You know, you've identified the gap. Try to improve on it. Okay, what is it that I should do instead of doing A? Maybe I should have done B. So identify that gap. Most times I would encourage you to write it down. You know, if you don't write something down, you can easily forget. But if you write it down, it helps you prepare better for subsequent interviews or even subsequent job application. You've learned from your past experience and then now you can forge ahead and make improvement in your subsequent interviews. One thing you can also do in this at this stage is you can reach out to your recruiter. Maybe you've got into um, the third stage or the final stage and then you get that rejection email you can reach out to them to ask them is there something I could have done better uh, or maybe there was something that you were expecting me to do that I, I didn't do right just try to get feedback from them 
Some of them will respond to you and some of them will not respond. But if you don't get any feedback or you don't get any response from them, don't feel discouraged. Just keep moving, like I mentioned. Remember that rejection phase, it is very, it is, re rejection phase is very, uh, it's something that you don't need to take lightly because if you let it get to you, then you might eventually find out that you're not moving forward or you're not from exploring opportunities. So don't feel down even if you don't get feedback from your recruiters. The third point is research and keep yourself motivated. While you are going through this rejection phase, it is important to know that the world keep moving. Nobody will wait for you. Even people in your career, everybody is moving. So try to keep your pace by researching. Keep learning. Don't stop. Start networking with people in your space. LinkedIn is a good place for you to start if you don't know where to start. Go on LinkedIn, search for people that are working in your space. Um, using customer success, for example, you have a lot of thought leaders in customer success, directors of customer success, people that are already senior customer success, executive. Try to connect with them. Learn from the tips that they are saying. Try to gather your facts from them. And also, Google is your friend. Go on Google, learn the current trend in your career path. What are the current trends in customer success? If you're in customer success, if you're in product design, what are the current trends? How can you keep yourself up to date on new things that are happening in your industry? So learn all these things. Keep researching because it is what you've, re you've researched that will help you in your interview. Imagine that you've stayed down or you're not motivated or you keep thinking that things are not going to work out and because of that, you're not moving. When you get to the interview, what would you discuss? Then it means that what you're ready to deliver is not going to meet the expectation of your recruiter. And that is the reason why you don't have to stay down. Keep moving no matter what. It might be difficult, but remember that things get better with time. This takes me to the fourth and final tip, which is stay positive. I think I've mentioned it all like from... Number one, number two, number three, number four. This number four is just a capital. Like you stay positive. Know that whatever it is you're doing, even if things are not working out at this time, you're making progress. You've remember you've learned from your gaps, and that is progress. You've connected with people in your space, that is progress. You've researched and you're on trend. What is you know what is going on in your current career? That is progress. So no matter what you're doing, stay positive. Keep believing that things will come out. Um, something is going to work out soon. Know that something is going to work out soon. Fun fact for me, it's sometimes I put in a lot of work. Sometimes you end up sending like 20 applications, 50 applications, and the number of interviews that you get is not even equivalent to the number of applications you've sent in. But the fact that you get interview even if it is two or three interviews you've gotten out of 20 applications you've sent, that is still progress. What if they don't call you for the interview? But now they've called you for the interview, it's an opportunity for you to learn. Stay positive. That's okay. This interview, I'm going to give it my all and this is going to work out for me. You know, there is a saying that whatever you think in your heart is what happens to you. Yes, so... Start thinking in a positive way, have positive perspective about life. And that is how you can stay on top of rejection. Don't let rejection knock you down. The final part I'm going to say is that most CEOs, they've had their own share of rejection. Even people that are at top places in life, they've had their own share of rejection. But you're hearing their name right now because they didn't let, down, let that weigh them down. They kept moving irrespective. But if you're on social, LinkedIn, for example, people come there to tell you, okay, I have gotten a job. I have just gotten a new position in this company, in X, Y, Z. But they will not tell you the number of rejection they've gotten. And that does not mean that they don't have rejection. People have their whole fair share of rejection. But it is only the success story that most people come online to share. So remember that... No matter what, everybody has had their own share. And the fact that you are going through this phase, you are not alone in the process and you're going to get back up very soon. Just stay motivated and keep positive mindset. 
if you've liked this video again don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching till the end and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.